Hi, it's Richard from UK Home Cinemas. I have just completed a cinema room which, in which I'm standing and um, it occurred to me that it would be great if I could do a little video on the control four system because this, uh, this cinema room is is controlled by a control four remote. So um, the purpose of this video is just to show you what the control four system does when you implement it uh, quite simply in a cinema room. So this is the, uh, the room we've just finished working on. Um, we've got an Epson 9300 projector, some uh, LED strips in the ceiling, obviously down lights, and we've got some control for dimmers on the wall here. They're, they're basically wired the same as a conventional light switch, so even if you've already got your wiring in, as long as neutral's present in the box, which it usually is, you can just replace a normal light dimmer with these, and they're able to be controlled via a, a Zigbee radio signal. It means that we can we can add lighting control very easily without um, having to change any of the wiring. Okay, so here's our projector on our, on our low profile ceiling mount, which we actually sell on our website. Um, we've got um, our equipment uh, cabinet, which has got a Yamaha AV receiver, and it's got a Sony Blu-ray player, a Virgin Media Box, and at the back there is a little which is the um, control processor, which is a, made by Control 4. And that is the little, it's kind of like a little bespoke computer which controls everything else in the room. We've also got a TV on the wall and we've got a ceiling recessed screen which uh, comes down in front of the TV um, when we want to use the projector. We've also got an SR260 remote, which is uh, the Control 4 remote. And this is, uh, what I intend to show you, I'm afraid it's flickering a little bit. That, that it's not actually flickering, it's just the camera that makes it look like it's flickering. The whole thing about this is it makes the system very user friendly because you don't have to know how it's wired up or what sources to select or anything. You just pick up the remote, uh, you just go click watch, and you get a choice of what, what do you want to watch. And then let's say, well, we want to watch Virgin Media, which is the first item on the list, and then click select. Then everything in the room that needs to come on will come on. The projector's coming on. The equipment in the cabinet's coming on. So the amplifiers come on. And the screen will be coming down in a few seconds. So, basically, I'm not going to bother closing the blinds, so of course the image is not going to look great just for this video, but um, the point is not to show off how good the images are, because they are, they are brilliant, but only when the blinds are closed. The point is to show you what the remote does. So now, we can adjust the volume, and when we adjust the volume on the remote, it's controlling the amplifier. And because our source is Virgin Media, we can also control the Virgin Media box, so we can go, ooh, I don't know, um, guide. And we get the Virgin Media guide up, we can control it, we can select something, whatever. Now we go, oh, tell you what, I want to watch something else. I, uh, I think I'm going to watch a Blu-ray or I'm going to watch something from my Blu-ray player. So I just click watch again. My list comes back up on the remote to tell me a uh, choice of things I could watch. I'm going to choose Sony Blu-ray player and click on that. And now my Blu-ray player is coming on in the cabinet. My amplifier switched over to the Blu-ray player. And uh, my remote will now control the Blu-ray player. So here we go, Blu-ray player's up on the menus, up on the screen. I've got control of it. I don't need to know how the system works. All I need to know is how to operate this remote, which is the simplest thing in the world. Now, I mentioned that it's also set to control the lighting. So I'm just gonna go into, uh, just gonna click list on the remote. I'm gonna select lighting. I'm gonna go lighting scenes. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this lighting scene is full. All my lights are on full. This lighting scene is low. All my lights are now low. So I can adjust my lights just choosing a bunch of preset scenes that were created when we programmed this thing. Also, I can switch lights on or off or set levels for the lights. And I can tell everything to go off. And now I've decided I, I've had enough and I want to switch my system off, so I just go room off. Everything goes off. 
the screen goes up, all the equipment switched off, projectors cooling down. That's what the control floor system does for you in a small cinema room like this. It makes it so user friendly, it means you don't have to have a pile of remote controls lying around. And by the way, it controls the TV in exactly the same way. The other thing with Control 4 that you get is, as standard, you get exactly the same capabilities on a free app that runs on your smartphone. Obviously the app's no use on its own unless you have a Control 4 system, but it gives you everything you just saw on the remote you can also do from your smartphone. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel where we have several other videos about home cinemas that we've built.